Jack Cantola, is fulfilling assignment number eight in the Competent Communication Manual, Get Comfortable with Visual Aids. The challenge in this assignment is use a visual aid that supports his message. Jack grew up on a small dairy farm in Floodwood, Minnesota, where he learned a lot about the choices we make in life. Today, Jack will share with us his personal experience in making these choices. Speaking for five to seven minutes, the title of his speech is Pick Up Sticks. Please help me welcome Jack Antola. Already at the green light. It's a message there. Choices. Life is all about choices. We all make choices every day that impact our lives. Madam Toastmaster, most welcome guest Rob and fellow Toastmasters. On the Friday after Thanksgiving in 1959, when I was 20 years old, I made a choice. I was deer hunting with my father and friends George and Don, and we had just at the end of a long, quiet, cloudy, mild day in Minnesota, decided to make one more drive for deer on my Uncle Charlie's property. Don took a stand by the road and my dad and I walked across the swamp. I took position on a rock stand and my dad continued to the other side of some red brush. George went down to the south and walked the swamp north toward us, moving the deer toward us. After I had been there for a few minutes, a deer came out. And I raised my gun and I fired, and I missed. That deer continued past me into the wood behind me. I was a bit frustrated. But then another deer came out, and this time I took careful aim and I fired, and I hit that deer. Now let me take a moment to interrupt this speech and, and tell you something else. Susie, could you come up, please? I want you to pick up one end of that stick. Put it back down. Now I want, now I want you to pick up one end of that stick without picking up the other. Well, it's coming up. It's not working. It's impossible. It's impossible, thank you, Susie. It's impossible for us to pick up one end of the stick without picking up the other. And this demonstrates what happens when we make choices. We can make the choice, and when we make that choice, we understand and we have an idea of what the consequences of that choice are going to be. But we don't necessarily know for sure what's going to happen. So let me get back to my story. So I got off my stand to make sure that that deer was dead. And after I'd gone about 30 feet, remember it was a dusky day, cloudy, I was wearing very faded red jacket. My dad was on the other side of some red brush. He knew where I was supposed to be on that rock. And when he saw movement through that red brush, he raised his gun and he fired. He's a much better shot than I am. He hit me in the stomach. That bullet went right through me. It nicked my kidney. It messed my spine by about an inch. Missed my ribcage by about a half an inch. And it threw me to the ground. Now I've got to tell you, that was not the consequence that I had in mind when I got out that rock. <laughs> that was not, I had no idea that was going to happen. The only positive side, I suppose, is I got to ride to the ambulance in a 1937 LaSalle. <laughs> yeah, cool. Yeah. I was on the operating table for about four hours, and I was in the hospital for two weeks, and then another six weeks of recuperation at home. Choices. I picked up that stick of choice. Without, and, and, and it yielded for me consequences beyond my imagination. It affected my life so dramatically. 
But that's what choices are. We make choices every day. You know, might, you might choose to buy a lottery ticket and win a million dollars. Or you might be on a freeway and choose to change lanes and run into the car next to you. Or it might be such as, as, as mundane as staying in your bed in the morning and sleeping instead of getting up and pursuing your goals and dreams. Now that process, that whole thing, had another consequence as well. The consequence was that I didn't have any health insurance. And I had a hospital bill and a doctor bill. My dad agreed to pay the doctor bill, which was a whopping 750 bucks. Can you imagine that? What it would be today? And I was left with the hospital bill of $2,500. It doesn't sound like a lot, but that's what about I paid for my 1962 Chevy Impala convertible. It was a lot of money, especially to a student, unemployed, broke. But I uh, made a choice. And the choice I made was to fill, fill my commitment to pay that hospital bill. I talked to the hospital and they agreed to let me pay $25 a month, no interest, until the bill was paid. That bill didn't get paid until I had graduated from college, gotten married, <laughs> had a child. But the, but the consequence of that was the fact that I became a person that is committed to fulfilling his obligations. If I hadn't done that, and I could very easily have done, because how could they get money out of a broke 20-year-old? It's impossible. But the fact that I fulfilled that commitment gave, made me a person of commitment. If I hadn't, if I could have got by with that, what would I have tried to get by with next? We make choices. We pick up that kick of choice every day, stick of choice every day. And every time we pick it up, we have to recognize that we're also picking up the consequences that come with that choice. My message to you, fellow Toastmasters, is make your choices wisely. Make them deliberately. And I pray that the results of all those choices, the consequences of all those choices, will be positive. Madam Toastmaster.